yep, there's a housing shortage. <laughs> the first reason that comes to my mind is the impact of COVID. As that pandemic swept, construction sites halted, builders went out of business. According to the National Association of Home Builders, residential construction decreased by 13% in 2020, and that caused a ripple effect that continues today. Another reason for the uh, housing shortage is our ever-growing population, and along with that, uh, growing demand for housing. And the other reasons are probably going to be more difficult to address because they have to do with human preferences and behavior and how that's changed over the years. Like, for example, Americans are demanding uh, more homes be built for fewer number of people because more people than ever are choosing to live alone. So even if the population was stable, um, we would need more homes to accommodate everyone. Here's something interesting. In 1940, 7% of the population lived alone. Today, 30% live alone. So that phenomenon has driven up demand considerably. If only 7% of our population today lived alone, we would need 25 million homes. But at our current rate of people living alone, we need 91 million homes. That's an extra 66 million houses. And our current rate of construction is about 900 a year. So it's gonna take quite a while to catch up with that. So our population is growing, plus we're uh, wanting a higher ratio of homes to people. The consequence of this is the uh, increase in energy and resource use, domestic waste, greenhouse gases. Most households have similar appliances like stoves, refrigerators, heating, cooling, regardless of how many uh, people live there. So more homes, the more uh, detrimental to the environment. You know, um, more people used to live at home till they got married, they married, had families younger, plus people didn't migrate uh, so much for jobs. It really was a different societal structure. Here's something else. A higher uh, demand for homes, I mean a higher demand for builders and skilled tradespeople. Unfortunately, that number is decreasing. According to um, ABC chief economist, Dr. A nearby Basu, I'm sure I screwed up that name, sorry. <laughs> One in four construction workers are older than 55, and these retiring workers are not being replaced. For every three baby boomers retiring from skilled trades, only one uh, millennial or Gen X is ready to take a job in the trades. According to the National Association of Home Builders, the shortage of construction workers is estimated at around 300,000 in the United States. So um, there's a shortage of young people going into the trades and it's getting harder to find workers to build homes. Why is that? According to skillwork.com, the underlying issue really is that these uh, days people undervalue tradesmen. Mike Rowe, he's a well-known advocate of providing more options for education in the trades as this. The removal of shop class from high schools has done more long-term damage to our workforce than most people can even contemplate. You know, at one time, high schools offered classes and information of going into the trades, but now the emphasis is on preparing kids for college. And this is a disservice to these kids as well as to our economy because college is just not for everyone. So those are some of the issues um, behind the housing shortages. And the growing demand for homes is, as we all know, driving up prices, causing harm to the environment, contributing to homelessness. So it's a problem that really needs to be addressed. So uh, let's talk about some possible solutions. And by the way, our contact information is below. We do a new video uh, weekly, so consider subscribing if you wanna learn about the Eastern Panhandle and the latest real estate data. Okay, solutions. In this country, we are not going to implement uh, population control measures, and we are not going to force people to live together. 
So uh, we're going to need innovative ways to build homes faster, cheaper, and more energy efficient. I've seen several ideas, different modular builders, uh, different components, uh, including 3D printing. And those things really haven't taken hold as of yet, but hopefully uh, will contribute in the future to accommodate the growing demand for houses. And another thing uh, that's important is shifting resources to offering more options uh, to kids in high school so that the trades are a viable choice. That's going to do a lot to alleviate the housing problem. Here's an interesting program in a high school in Louisiana. It's called Uncommon Work. Students actually work on a construction site and build a house. Um, really a creative idea. Explain, if you would, what Uncommon Construction is, what makes it uncommon, and how you're going to change the world. Uncommon Construction is a nonprofit here in New Orleans where we host an apprenticeship program for high school students. We sort of think of Uncommon as like shop class on steroids. We're not just building birdhouses. We're out in the real world with real responsibilities, developing real estate, and they get paid above minimum wage. They earn internship credit at school for building a house together. And then any profit or revenue that we make, they can use for further education, industry certifications, or the tools and resources that they need for a full-time job or success as they define it after graduating. That's a great idea. And uh, I hope uh, a lot more places take on projects like this. So uh, anyway, those are some possible solutions and thank you for tuning in and um, I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.